y'all? It's your boy Illy. I am back here again to make another video because I have a lot of end of 2018 videos that I want to make. Um, I'm going to put a little disclaimer before this video real quick. Um, I'm going to try to go quick though because I think this is going to be one of my longest videos ever. So um, I will be having my favorite books of 2018 coming up in another bookish end of the year video coming up hopefully the end of the year tomorrow. Um, also, I'm just... Um, if you are a viewer of my videos and you actually enjoy my content, thank you so, so much because I know I just started, but like anybody even caring about anything I say is super cool and I love you all. I appreciate you all, but I will also not be able to make videos in the first week, week and a half of January. I'm going to be out of state, lots of crazy things going on. I don't know how it's going to be, so thanks for being here while you're here. So I really wanted to do my top albums of 2018. I know I really wanted to make a music e video for 2018 because so much good music came out this year. So much. Um, this is not going to include any K-pop, obviously. K-pop would be like a separate category. I don't even think I want to make a K-pop one because that shit would be so much. So I kind of just narrowed it down to all of the albums that came out this year that I loved and listened to on repeat and just consumed constantly throughout the year. I'm gonna start with some honorable mentions real quick that um just weren't like top top but I did enjoy listening to a lot of the songs off of it maybe that you know this is good. Start with Cardi B. Cardi B yes I'll admit I have listened to Cardi B willingly she has some heavy bops sometimes. I'm just gonna throw out um Ring featuring Kehlani, and I do featuring SZA, those two I love because I love Kehlani, I love SZA, my fucking queens, they made the songs, they are so good. I want to talk about Janelle Monet. her album Dirty Computer came out this year, and um, it was fine, I wasn't like the biggest fan fan, I don't think I listened to the whole album, but I loved Pink and Make Me Feel. Ooh, ooh, some queer anthems right there, support our queer girls. Um, next I'll talk about Joji. Ballads 1, he released that this year. I really, really liked Slow Dancing in the Dark, just like every other person ever. I liked a lot of the songs off this album. I just wasn't wasn't the favorite. I didn't listen to it constantly. Next, No Name. She released her newest album in 25. I wasn't the biggest fan of this as I was her first album or thing she released, but this was still good. Great rap, hip-hop to listen to. Also, I want to throw in Juice World. Um, Juice World, they also released something with Future this year um i really like lean with me off of his solo thing that he did but um phenomenal great shit rich brian he released amen this year again great 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 <laughs> next i'm gonna throw in sean mendez um i know he released an album this year i didn't really care so much for all of it but lost in japan heavy bob so good then i want to throw in <laughs> Post Malone, he released Beer Bongs and Bentleys. I'm gonna admit, yeah, I do have this album downloaded. I enjoy some classical music sometimes. Honestly, Stay. Stay is so good. That shit gets me. It's so fucking good. Also, I think Candy Paint is one of the best songs ever made. Um, my last album went to be The Wonder Years. They released their album Sister Cities this year. And um, my brother told me it wasn't that great, so I didn't listen to it until like very end of the year then I was like wait I actually really love this so I'm gonna throw it in here what didn't make the top because I didn't listen to it that much because I didn't just didn't listen to it that much um I really like flowers where your face should be that's a really good one now we're gonna get to the actual top albums the ones that are just constantly constantly playing um little disclaimer my music taste is so fucked I listen to every single genre you could ever think of this is probably gonna include mostly hip-hop rap some R&B and soul, some pop, pop punk around there. I tried to hold off and put like my fave faves at the very end, but I didn't really make it a list from like least favorite to most favorite kind of thing. We're just gonna go. We're gonna start this list off with Lil Peep. Lil Peep released Come Over When You're Sober this year. I know how to talk about him in this album because he has passed, but it's really, really, really good. Um, my favorites include Life Is Beautiful, Broken Smile, Cry Alone, and I Don't Give a Fuck. I really, really like the songs. This is rap, hip-hop. Next, I want to talk about The Internet. The Internet, Sid, my queen, my 
loved. Um, I love the internet so, so much. If you were a fan of Odd Future, Tyler, that whole thing, you know, Sid is. Um, basically, this is like soul R&B. She is so good. Um, I really like Stay the Night, Wannabe, Come Over, Mood. Those are like faves. Next, let's talk about Pop Punk. The story so far, they've released their album Proper Dose this year. And I was a little wary. I'm always wary with Pop Punk bands because... At the beginning, you know, they have that, like, weird, like, garage band sound, and then they grow into themselves, but then they kind of just fall into a rut where it's either the exact same thing, or they try to go into, like, a different genre, like, more rock and shit, and it doesn't really work. I really, really liked what the story so far did here, though. I was pleasantly surprised. My faves on this album were Let It Go, Upside Down, and If I Fall. Love. Next, let's talk about Playboy Cardi. He released Dial It this year, and, oh, I listened to this constantly constantly um this is again rap hip-hop i really like mileage foreign love hurts shooter obviously fell in love roll up r.i.p fredo um i feel like i shouldn't i try to narrow it down to like top five songs off an album some albums i just loved so much listen to hardcore that i don't have that so next we'll go with anderson pack i always say pock i think it's pronounced pack though so he released oxnard this year and that was super super good like it he just had such great features on that album so good i love anderson pack he's one of my favorite artists like currently ever for like the past couple years i think he has such a unique sound i think he puts so much care into every little bit of everything he releases um i really liked tints mansa musa who are you i don't know this album was just full of heavy bops so good Okay, now we're getting into the top 10. These are kind of ordered now, I think. Number 10, we're going with Georgia Smith. Her album Lost and Found, she released that this year. And, um, really, really liked it. Um, I don't know what genre this is. R&B, soul, poppy, um, I don't know. My favorites off of this were Teenage Fantasy, February 3rd, Lifeboat's Freestyle, so good, and Don't Watch Me Cry. Number 9, we're going with Nicki Minaj. Obviously a classic. Um, I've low-key been a fan it wasn't super hardcore or shit but this album was super super good um my favorite is come see about me Ooh, that shit. her singing her voice is like incredible thought i knew you barbie dreams ganja burns and run and hide number eight we're going with lesbian jesus Haley kiyoko she released her full-length expectations finally finally and blessed us all my favorite is sleepover this is my favorite when she released as a single, it's my, one of my favorite songs. It's so good. And that music video is fucking beautiful. Um, other ones is Wanna Be Missed. Oh, I love that song so freaking much. Feelings, What I Need featuring Kehlani. So good. And Molecules, we'll go with Molecules, yeah. Um, that's obviously pop. Um, I lost count of where this is in the thing. But um, next we're just going to go with Mac Miller. Who released Swimmer this year. Um, he sadly, we all know he's passed away that. His death hit me super, super hard. I started listening to him when I was in like the seventh grade. He was a very influential person in my life in getting me to like certain music and I just really the I don't know, his death just hit me really hard. But this album was really, really great. My faves off it were What's the Use, Wings, Ladders, Small Worlds, Jet Fuel, Self Love. 2009 i don't know i just really love this album i really love mac um everybody should go listen to it so we're gonna go with travis scott who released astro world this this astro world this year um again another hip-hop rappy this album so good took me on a fucking roller coaster i think the whole production of this album was phenomenal okay when frank came in i was you don't understand i was laying in my bed trying to listen to this shit and then I hear Frank Ocean's beautiful voice, and I literally bolted up like, what is going on? Oh, it was so good. So, like, my favorite, obviously, Carousel, Coffee Bean, Yosemite. Um, I just loved a lot of this album. Okay, now I think we're getting into the top five. This, I can remember the order. Coming in at number five, we have Troy Sivan's Bloom. I have been a huge fan of Tor Troy Sivan before he started his music career when he was just on YouTube. He is, like, phenomenal my fave a beautiful little gay twink who we stand in love always his album was so good obviously it's pop he is just one of the most unique pop artists we have right now 
and I love him. Today's all the top number 17, Postcard, What a Heavenly Way to Die. Lucky Strike was probably my favorite animal, but every song on here, like Bloom, they're just so, oh, dance to this, oh my god, there's so many good, there's so many good songs off this album. Holy fuck. Number four, we're going with a pop punk group album, and it's this group right here, Real Friends. Real Friends is one of my all-time favorite bands in the entire universe, and again, I mentioned this earlier with other pop punk, I get super, uh, because pop punk always goes one of two ways, where they just try to go into a different genre, it doesn't work, or they, you know, keep that sound, they keep it going. Real Friends has a way of always releasing their music at a specific time in my life where I can relate so, so heavily to what they are singing about, and I just think they have some of the best lyrical content I have ever heard, and um, this album really meant a lot to me when it came out. It just was very necessary, so my faves off of this are Hear What You Want, From the Outside, Take a Hint, Me First, and Composure. Number three is another pop punk band, and this is Water Parks. They released Entertainment this year, and when Water Parks first sort of like came out, I was super in that thing where I didn't want to stan new pop punk, because like I was like, oh fuck this new age pop punk, but like Water Parks are so good. I literally, this album came out at the beginning of the year, I think I listened to it for like months and months straight, and when I was thinking about this list, I literally went and listened to it for like a couple hours straight and I was like, fuck the rest of this shit. This is such a good album. I love their weird sound. They like mix a lot of weird pop and weird vocalizer shit in with this pop punk and it's, it works so well for them. My faves are Not Warriors, Lucky People, Cry Baby, Sleep Alone, Eleven Eleven, Blonde, Peach, Rare, We Need a Talk, Tantrum, they kind of listed them all. Okay, top five for sure are not warriors, lucky people, cry baby, sleep alone, eleven eleven. But oh, this whole album is so good. Okay, we're getting to the top two. Ooh, number two. Ariana Grande, Sweetener, because this album, so good, so good. Holy fuck! I mean, straight up, Ariana Grande invented music. Like, I'm just gonna be honest. So good. So good. My favorite off this album are Good Night and Go, Pete Davidson, <laughs> R.I.P. Every Time, Successful, R.E.M. But I also love Sweetener, um, and The Light is Coming. I don't know. This is another album that I just listen to on repeat, and I can constantly listen to on repeat. This never gets old, ever. And my number one, Numero Uno, the my top album of 2018. Um, if you, like, know me personally, this wouldn't come as a surprise. I mean, not many people know me personally. I mean, like, my brother and I, like, my brother would agree with me here. Brockhampton's Iridescence. Brockhampton is a rap group. Um, a lot of people like to call them the New Age Odd Future. I don't like that comparison. Mm -mm. I think Brockhampton is if Odd Future would have done things right and better. Um, basically, they are hip-hop rap group who make weird-ass fucking music. Now, this album took me on such a ride. All within, like, one song, it was like, I'm crying, I literally don't want to live anymore, oh my god, what's the point of living, to, like, fucking hyped up, fucking, fucking getting, like, turnt, fucking hyped up, but then also to, like, want to go, like, fucking get in a fist fight and then, like, crying again. This album was so good. They make super fucking weird music. They're a very unique group because I think they just talk about a lot of very unique and diverse topics. Um, I have loved the Brockhampton Boys since like day one. Last year when they released all of their saturations, huh, R.I.P. I know we don't talk about that much because of the mirror, but like, you can't deny how fucking good they are. And I think they really, really found their sound now. Like, they've done it. It's so good. I've, I'm literally scared. How are they going to top this? My favorite are Wait and San Marcos. Those hit me personally. I mean, if you want to know anything about me, listen to those two songs. And just, like, that's my soul in, a, in songs. Also, District, Honey, Tanya, the one that's in French. I'm not going to even try to pronounce it, but so good. Okay, y'all. So thank you for... um bearing through this um i know i kind of just go off and i didn't really like do anything too like 
in depth. I just really wanted to mention some really great albums and music that came out this year. So tell me what your favorite songs were this year. Doesn't matter the genre, obviously. I listen to everything. I just love music of all kinds. So um, you've listened to any of these and you loved any of these or you didn't like any of these, give me your opinions on them. Tell me your favorite songs. Um, hopefully I haven't heard them yet so that way I can hear them and consume even more great music. So um, thank you all for watching this. <laughs> Bye guys, love you all. See ya.